Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, repair a strip thread. Um, this one's on a crank bolt. It'll be pretty much the same process on any bolt, uh, no matter where it is, um, to be able to fix the threads. As you can see here is the old bolt on the end of it starts stripping as it went in. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, what the issue was. I did look down in the crankshaft and you could see um, that the crank was stripped on the end. You can always take a little flat, a little uh, mirror like this and look down into the crankshaft and you can see down in there the threads like that. Now I've already ran the tap through this. I just wanted to go uh, you know make a, a video but you could definitely see that the threads in there were burgered up. So that's basically how you can see it if you if you can't see it directly um, by eye. But basically uh, you I end up getting a new bolt and you can take a thread checker like this and verify the thread pattern. You can see that's a 1.5 and I got a new bolt. That's a 1.5, you can see right there. And then it's a, a 12, uh, 12 size. So I uh, ended up getting a tap that's a 12 uh, by 1.5. And how you'll do it, you'll get down here and you can uh, start going into the crank and if you, um, or any bolt, you know, whatever is stripped on it, You'll start spinning until you start, you know, if, it, if you feel it slip, um, like you can't get it to grab, then you'll have to get a hammer or something. Or I mean, if you got enough arm pressure, then you can press it up against there. But if you can get a little hammer and tap it as you're turning it. Now, I can't show you because I'm trying to hold the camera, but um, if you tap it as you turn it, then, you know, you don't want to tap it and break the thing off. Make sure that you get a good straight drive in there. Uh, but just barely tap it as you're turning to try to get the uh, the thread of that that tap on the uh, the part that's stripped. Uh, you might have to do that. You might not. So uh, basically, when, once it starts grabbing really tight, uh, you want to do like one turn and then you want to back it out. So once you back it out, um, you'll blow or, or clean the end of the threads off. Now I use an air gun for everything. And I'm not going to blow directly on the crank right now because I don't have a rag around there. But normally I would have this rag, you know, stuffed around the seal right there. That way whenever I blow the debris out that uh, I don't get it inside of the crankcase. So, or inside the timing set there. But uh, to continue doing it, uh, you just keep running that tap in and out. Keep screwing it in. You know, whenever it gets stiff, you know, you'll turn on it. And uh, I usually do, like I said, just one full turn and then I, I back it out and basically what you're doing is you're taking all the debris that's being cut and you're pulling it out. Um, a lot of times if you try to go all the way in and keep turning and keep turning and even whenever it's cutting a lot of times that tap will get stuck in the hole and I've even had it where the tap has actually broke off in the hole from so much debris so just to be on the safe side just uh, you know maybe do one turn and then back up and just keep doing that until you bottom it out. Now. How you find out if it's bottomed out, you stick a screwdriver up there and you put your thumb on the end of it here and see how far out, uh, you know, how far out it stuck up in there and then you'll put the screwdriver up against your tap here and then you know where the end of the crankshaft hole is in there and you know not to go any further. Now you can mark this with a, a black marker or a piece of tape or if you have a good memory of where you, you know, where, where it is then you can, uh, you know, just visually see where, where you uh, need to stop at. So you basically just keep going in there and back and keep cleaning that thread out and getting the strip portion out. Now if this doesn't work, you might have to take a drill bit and drill open that hole just slightly and put a bigger nut in there or a bigger bolt. Uh, I like to usually try to clean out the threads first before I uh, you know, go to drilling out the crank because anytime whenever you make this hole bigger, you make the end of the crank a little bit weaker. So anyway, uh, that's how you, uh, you know, fix a stripped uh, uh, screw and uh, I hope my video helped you out today um, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe and I look forward to the next video